you talked about the laboratory. Can you tell us how much that laboratory means to you? The laboratory means everything. Um, that's where I have the opportunity to work with people to change the status quo. Our goal is to change the status quo every day. Like I tell people, if we wake up in the morning and we finish at the end of the day, and the status quo is at the end of the day what it was in the morning, we've wasted the day. So, the laboratory is everything. Because every day we don't challenge the status quo, people continue to suffer needlessly because we haven't pushed hard enough. And so why are you here? Well, we're here to relieve human suffering. And in order to do that, you've got to change the status quo. You've got to push things forward. Um, in the, you know, in the operating room, I had a, a wonderful resident, Ray Quinn Chu, who went on to become chair of one of the uh, urology programs in Oklahoma. And Ray was wonderful. Uh, when we'd operate as a junior resident, I was at that time a chief resident, he would always take notes. So Ray knew exactly how you did something. And I can remember we were in a case and we were doing something, and he looked at me and went, that's not the way you did it the last time. And I looked at him and I said, well, Ray, what you have to understand is we do it same way every time, only once. Because we're constantly striving to make whatever we're doing better. And I can't believe that what I'm doing is the epitome, the absolute best that it could ever be done. No, I have to believe that we can do it better tomorrow than we're doing it. Because if I didn't believe that, then there's no more use for me other than just keep doing the same thing over and over again, but I'm not going to make anything better. So every day we go in and challenge, how can I do this better? How can we do this more efficiently? How can we do this through a smaller incision? And we keep doing that every single day. But that's, you know, I say the wonderful thing about urology and about medicine is because there's so much ignorance. We know so little so that the ability in the laboratory is unlimited, just unlimited. And so it's uh, a tremendous privilege, but you have to be in a nice kind of way, honest enough. And then if you will, perhaps humble enough, to admit that you just don't know. That you just don't know. And that in point of fact, nobody knows. Fine. Let's go and try and find out. You know, we'll do that together. We've got 20 people now in the lab. It's great fun. Um, seeing them think creatively, seeing them write, seeing them present, seeing them grow and mature and empowering them to think creatively, to challenge. Yeah, why? Yeah, best question in the world, why?